what we are taking. Accepting! Hey, hello everybody. I'm gonna show you how to mod Street Fighter 6. First, you need to go to nexusmods.com. If you don't have an account yet, make sure you sign up for a free account. Under search, I'm gonna search for Street Fighter 6. On the drop down menu here, I'm gonna switch to games. Press search. Here it is. Click on it. This is the Street Fighter 6 mod page. Scroll down to more mods. Click on popular all time. Here you're gonna find a whole bunch of popular mods. But the one we are interested in is a manager and it's called Fluffy Mod Manager. So click on that. Go to files and let's download this guy. Here it is. I'm gonna extract it. And I'm gonna move this folder into the Street Fighter 6 Steam folder. That's gonna be under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Street Fighter 6. I'm gonna just paste this bad boy in here. Now let's install a few mods together so you can see how it works. So the first one is gonna be Faster Startup. This mod's gonna let you skip through all of those intros. Go to Files, download this guy. Under the Street Fighter folder, let's open up the Fluffy Mod Manager. Double click on Mod Manager. And we're gonna choose Street Fighter 6. Here it is. Now I'm gonna drag the Faster Startup mod onto the screen of the mod manager. And as you can see here, that mod disappeared. If you click on mod list, it's moved under textures. Here we go, faster startups. Click on it to enable it. And if you wonder where the mod files went, go to options, click on open mods folder. And here it is, it was moved over here. Under Street Fighter 6 in the Steam folder, fluffy mod manager, games, SF6, mods, and here is my mod. With the mod being enabled, you can see that it's white. When it's disabled, it's gonna be grayed out. Now let's launch the game to see if the mod works. You can launch the game here or through Steam. Haha, <laughs> look at that. It just went straight to the title screen. Next, let's install a costume mod. And we're gonna go with classic costumes over original costumes. Go to files. And here you're gonna see a whole bunch of costumes for different characters. I'm gonna go with the Ryu classic. Here it is. Let's drag it over to our manager. You can see it's been moved. Go back to the mod list. And I don't know how the mod manager recognizes this, but it's organized under Ryu. Click on it. Right now it's grayed out. Let's enable it. If you have multiple mods for a particular character, it only works one mod at a time. So remember that. And let's launch the game to see what the costume looks like. Go to Ryu and check that out. So his default costume is gonna be the modded costume. <laughs> and check out my modded Jamie. <laughs> now if your game is messed up for whatever reason due to modding, just go ahead and uninstall all mods. And if that doesn't fix it, go to your Steam library, right click on Street Fighter 6, go to properties, install files, and then click on verify integrity of the game files. This is going to download and reinstall the vanilla game. If there's a mod you don't like and you want to delete it, just go ahead and highlight it, then go over here. We're going to trash this mod. Yes, there it is, it's gone. Now, something to keep an eye out, whenever the game gets patched or updated, some of your mods may not work anymore unless the mod author updates them. This is a good example. This is a really cool mod to realistic stage lighting, particularly this file right here, no character front lights. If we activate and launch the game, as you can see here, the character models are not showing up and it will just freeze. The last mod we're gonna install it's gonna be the battle hub stage. Let's go to files, download this guy, move it over to the mod manager. Under models, battle hub stage, go over to the Suvaha Arena. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that cool or what? And there we are. That's how you mod Street Fighter 6. Hopefully you found the video to be helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.